Okay, so man, Adam Konaki uh, beats um, Gerald Washington, knocks him out in two rounds. Um, you know, Konaki uh, beat Charles Martin. He looks a serious hand for this Konaki. Uh, what, what, do you, what did you make of the fight? What did you make of Konaki? Personally, um, I only really heard about it. Um, he, I heard that he knocked him out in two rounds. He beat Charles Martin. I think he took 11 rounds um, against him. Um, but personally... He's um, very good friends with Gerald Miller as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then he's... Miller don't want to fight him. Miller says he's my best buddy. Yeah, and... yeah. So the thing is, well, well, to be honest with Kanaki, until he really fights a credible opponent, we won't really know because Gerald Washington and Charles Martin, they're well, really You don't think Gerald Washington... It took uh, Wilder like six rounds to knock him out. Mm. But the thing and he is, was uh, boxing wilder as well. Mm -mm, but the thing I is don't with, think Washington's got great a great chin. But the thing is, with I wouldn't really judge Gerald Washington against Wilder because the thing is, Wilder's he's just wild, and if he connects, and you're gone. If he doesn't, then you're gonna be he's gonna be getting out box most of the time. If I, in my opinion, I think Washington wouldn't even last a minute against Joshua because I think his technique, everything. So like, I, I don't. But the thing is with Kanaki. Um, I personally feel that he needs to fight someone like a, maybe even a Dillian White, Joseph Parker, a Gerald Miller, someone that's going to give him, you know, yeah, status the, in the what, heavyweight division. The thing is with those guys, them guys are all looking for title shots. And Konaki, to me, seen look dangerous. I, don't think, I think Joseph Parker could fight Konaki. I don't, I don't see why Joseph Parker couldn't fight someone like a Konaki or Povetkin. Yeah, yeah, that'd be a good fight. But you know what? But then when you look at it, the heavy di heavyweight division is quite deep. Because when you look at guys like Konaki that look dangerous, that look very that, that they could give. He's look like Daniel Dubois. Nah, I think he's I think he's too head. I think that'd be too dangerous for Daniel Dubois at this stage. Someone like a Joe Joyce. Joe Joyce is fighting Bermain Stavern. Yeah, that'd be a good fight. I'd love to see that. Joe Joyce v Adam Konaki. But this is what I mean. There's so many fighters in the heavyweight division that are potentially very dangerous. And Konaki's another one. You know, Konaki's uh, very tough. He takes a good punch. And he and he obviously punches hard, he knocks guys out. So yeah, these are fights that really need to be made. Um, I don't know. I think I think I think you know the heavyweight division moving forward is going to be very interesting. Um, Personally, the thing is with the heavyweight division is such a big division now. The question is going to be if is all the heavyweights going to fight each other? And I don't think so because the three main guys running the sport right now is Joshua, Tyson Fury, and Deontay Wilder. And then there's all these other good names coming through: George Joyce, Daniel Dubois. That Nathan Gorman or whatever his name is, or is he, is he Miller? Miller, um, uh, Adam Konaki, um, you know, there's um, Joseph Dylan White, Parker, Joseph Parker, Parker, Alexander Povetkin. Right uh, now, Ortiz, Ortiz. Right now, the heavyweight Pulev. division, Pulev. Right now, the the division is a it's a very stacked, stacked division. It's, stacked it, division. it's not when Klitschko was there where it was just one man and like he was just the main. He he was running the whole division. Now it's around about three people. Three of the heavyweights are running the division. It's like everyone has their own empire type of thing. Whereas when Klitschko was there, it was a really dead division. There, there was no, no not many really not no challenges really. People thought that Klitschko was just going to beat everyone. And he did really until he bumped into Tyson Fury. And then after that, now there's three champions really with Tyson Fury, Joshua and Deontay Wilder. And the public don't know who's the best out of the lot. And that's, that creates, it's the same, it's, it's becoming like the welterweight division now. There's so many names, you don't know who the best is. And that's what makes it exciting. Yeah, so it's interesting. It's definitely interesting. I, I think moving forward, I think it's going to be, I, I think... It's going to be very exciting. I think it's going to be very, very exciting. You know, Konaki is another one that's been added to the mix. Um, you know, we, he's definitely got another credible win in beating, knocking out Washington. It's going to be interesting what he does next. Um, I think. I think personally, within the the next two to three years in the heavyweight division, will will tell you who who is the best heavyweight because they're all in the three best heavyweights. They're not really in a situation where they can fight anyone else but each other. So I think within the next two to three years, you'll really know who the cream of the crop is, who's going to be coming through, who's not going to be coming through. And I personally think the next two, three years in the heavyweight division is key. And I think mm. all these big fights will happen within that time frame. I don't think it'll take four years. I think in the next two to three years, all those big fights will take place. Fury, Wilder, um, to Joshua, Wilder, Joshua, Fury. I think they'll all happen within the next two to three years because I don't think they're fights that can be missed. They're that big that the money just... 
the money's just you can't you can't miss that type of fight. Certainly when you know certainly Joshua and Fury, in my opinion, that's a massive fight that has to happen. It's a massive money fight. They'd both be stupid not to take that fight, even if it's a 60-40 split either way. They both need to take that fight. Um, certainly for the British public, that'll be the biggest fight in British soils ever, in my opinion. But yeah. Um, so yes, yeah, so Adam Konaki puts in a great performance, knocks Washington out in two rounds. Leave your thoughts in the comment section below. Let me know what you think. And guys, remember to please like, share, subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys in the next video.